So our answer is 2 tons, 800 pounds. So let's do another one. This time, we're going to work with time. We have eight years, four months, and from that, we want to subtract five years and nine months. So when we get ready to subtract, we want to subtract nine from four, but we can't do that. So we have to come over here to the year, the eight years, and borrow a year, so that leaves us with seven years. Now, I didn't leave myself much room up here, but when I borrow that one year, that one year that I borrow is made up of months, and I have to know how many months I'm getting. One year is equal to 12 months, And I already had four months, so I'm going to put the four and the 12 together. And after you get comfortable with this, you might just mark your four out and go ahead and put how many months you have. But I'm going to come over here to the side and put my 12 and my four together and write 16 months. And I had nine months I was attracting. That's going to leave me with seven months. Now I've got to see how many years I have left. Five from seven leaves two. So my answer is two years, seven months. Don't forget after you've done that borrowing step that you still have your years over here to subtract. Now let's do another one. The tallest child in the first grade class was five feet tall. The shortest child was three feet two inches. Find the difference in their heights. Well, the word difference tells us to subtract, so we want to put down our taller ch tallest child's height first. So we write our five feet down, and we want to subtract the three feet and the two inches. Now, in order for us to subtract, we've got to have something to subtract that two from. And there's nothing up there to subtract the two from. So we're going to have to borrow. So we come over to our feet, and we borrow a foot, and that leaves us with four feet. And we can't just write the one foot down because we have inches over here. So we've got to write that foot in terms of inches. Well, we remember one foot is equal to 12 inches. So that's what we're actually going to borrow. When we say we borrow a foot, we're really going to borrow 12 inches. So let's write our 12 inches up here that we're going to borrow. And now we're ready to subtract. 2 from 12 leaves 10 inches. And three from four leaves one foot. Now you could certainly abbreviate these things. You could put one foot ten inches if you prefer. So if you have nothing to subtract from, when you borrow that unit, in this case feet, you need to translate it or use your, your fat to change it into the unit you want like inches. So since we were borrowing a foot, it became 12 inches. Let's look at another one. Let's take four quarts and one pint 
and from that subtract 3 quarts. Now this time our 1 pint is in a different place than our 2 inches was here. The 1 pint is on top. So when we get ready to think about subtracting, what we're actually saying is we don't have any pints down here, but can we take 0 from 1? And we can. When we take 0 from 1, we're going to be left with 1 pint. And if it makes you feel better, you can write the 0 in here. 0 pint from 1 pint leaves 1 pint. 3 quarts from 4 quarts leaves us with a quart. So we didn't have to do any borrowing in that problem because the, the 1 pint was on top. Let's do some practice problems that involve subtraction of denominant numbers. Six gallons, two quarts, subtract five gallons, three quarts. Three yards minus one yard, one foot. And the third one, how much larger is a piece of meat that is two pounds, four ounces, than one that is one pound, twelve ounces. Here are your practice problem answers. Number one, three quarts. Number two, one yard, two feet. Number three, eight ounces. This concludes lesson five, dealing with adding and subtracting denominant numbers.